Hi, thank you very much for turning back in. My name is Fonny. In my channel, I talk about my houseplant and my hoys. Today, it is an update video that I would like to give you. Is related to the order that I got from LB Garden. I have imported several, if not many, hoyas from LB Garden around two or three months ago, and now it has marked the third month. I'm really happy to show you the growth update of all of the Hoyas that I got from LB Garden. Good news is that I believe all of the Hoyas I got, 18 or 19 Hoyas that I got from LB Garden last time when I show you the unboxing, all of them are still alive. Some of them are showing significant growth just a couple of days after I start acclimating them. Some of them pushed out growth maybe after a month time and some of them are struggling to survive so hopefully that struggle bus one will continue improving and eventually will push out a new growth point. If you are interested in this type of content and you don't want to miss out next time when I post a similar video on the updates of Hoyas or anything related to my houseplant don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out next time. Without further ado, let's take a look of all of the close-up of the 18 or 19 new Hoyas that I got from LB Garden. The first one over here is Hoya City Kelang. This one is the most expensive um, Hoya that I got from this batch of Hoyas from LB. That's the reason why I want to show you. It actually made it. I was really... Um, greedy so what I did is I chopped the three node uh, plant into three parts you see one two and also over here so in total this one is the top cutting with two node and you see one two and this is actually the new growth point that has pushed out i'm super happy about this because as i said this one is the most expensive one i have from lb in this order and i really really want to be able to at least get one growth point out of this cutting or sorry not cutting but this plant and it actually has pushed out a set of buds but unfortunately it has dropped off and you can see that the leaf, uh, the original leaf, the two sets of original leaf, looks very healthy. And the growth speed is extremely slow. If you have this Hoya as well, let me know in the comment box down below how fast this Hoya grows in your condition. As you can see, the new growth point here has pushed out in two months time so it took quite a long time to actually push out this new growth point and very exciting news is that this one node cutting that i chopped up has also started pushed out this new stem over here you can also see the new tip of growth point over there and as you can see this growth point pushed out in two or two and a half month time. I would say it is a really slow grower under my condition. And for this cutting, it hasn't shown any signs of growth yet, but at least the leaf looks very firm and it is probably highly likely that it is rooted. So I'll just be patient on this cutting. And if you check the root, there are quite some roots growing as well and I believe this is a Hoya that takes quite a bit of time to grow unfortunately but at least it is growing and I'm very excited to see that and I could also see the potential when it comes to sun stressing because you see that the new leaf on the left hand side it is slightly um, sun stressed if you see on this angle the coloration is a bit more purple and the stem is very very dark uh, purple color and the leaf shape is relatively small and pointy and it is very stiff so I'm absolutely sure that 
this is a plant that is growing um, hopefully quite a lot in the root yes as you can see the root is quite extensive and it is a healthy set of roots it's still quite white over there it's fresh roots so yeah I am happy that this one did not die on me as of today um, I will definitely give you more update if I manage to provide environment that uh, this one it finally blew. Unfortunately, as I said, that peduncle just dropped off today. But um, three cutting that I chopped up, at least I have two growth points. I'm very happy about that. This one over here is the second cutting that I chopped off one leaf, one node to increase the probability of keeping Surizana. And as you can see through the peep through, there are already two sets of new leaf growing from this one leaf, one node cutting. You can see that the new leaf is slightly more lime color. And also the leaf shape is very, very elongated. And you can see the mid rib is very, very prominent. And the leaf itself concave a little bit inwards. And you can also see this sets of new leaves over here. The color comes in pink, I would say, in the uh, stem. And as it grows a little bit more mature, this leaf here gets a bit more lime and then eventually it turns to this lime color. I would say Surisana is quite fast growing, both um, in my Mealspo cabinet and also in my uh, room environment. This one is growing under the room environment and you can see that the new growth is very um, speedy it's pretty fast and you can also see that um, the sizing up is quite fast these two leaves has pushed out for around two weeks and it has sized up quite a bit and you can also check the roots is very very intense it also have roots almost growing into the water reservoir as you can see over there very happy about this result of Surisana. Not the easiest to start rooting, it took me some time, but definitely a really beautiful Hoya to have, especially those unbelievable beautiful flower shape. Really nice. This one over here is the one that I kept in the Mealsbow cabinet. You see, these two leaves are the original leaves that I have. However, this was a bare stem, but you can see that these new leaf that has grown out is super large and also it's very veiny. It's because of the high light condition. And also you see this is another leaf. This is another set of leaf growing in the stem. And also there are more leaves that grows out from the stem. I believe this is... Um, not the easiest, I would say, to root, but once it is rooted, it grows relatively fast. As you can see that each of the active node has pushed out new growth point, not just one leaf, but it's a uh, sets of leaves on each node. So I'm very happy that um, Sorisana actually made it for both of the plant. This one is the original plant that I have, and also the another part that I showed you which is the cutting that I chopped up, as you can see over here. This one over here is Hoya Mini Kalimantan with very nicely sun-stressed leaf. As you can see over here, I have two specimen because I have chopped the plant into two to increase my probability of having this one. And as you can see over here, the growth is not as fast as other ones I've showed you. However, after around a month time, it started pushing out new growth. This one over here 
is a new leaf and also a new leaf has grown underneath here and you can also see that growth point on the middle and there are multiple new growth uh, points in this plant you can see these two are sets of new leaves that has grown uh, within these two months time and there are also more i would say over there you see that two tiny small leaf those ones are new leaf that has grown under these two to three months time and the coloration is still pretty sun stressed this one over here you can see is quite red because i have it underneath um a okay medium aquarium light i would say but um I'm very happy that there are many different growth point in this same plant that I have potted. So hopefully in spring and summertime, these ones will start growing into a very bushy basket plant. Over here, you can see these are the cuttings that I have chopped up. This one has not uh, grown any new leaf yet um probably there is as you can see that green spot over there and this one has only been in outside i.e it has only grown under the room environment maybe it's because of that it hasn't really been to the um, high humidity environment the growth speed is much slower. However, you can see that the leaf is very plumped. I'm sure that there are roots grown into the lotus upon. And as I said, this one is a growth point that uh, finally has pushed out. So I look forward for this one to grow a little bit more, but I'm not surprised because now is winter time and outside is minus degree. Even inside is not that warm, not a lot of um, sun during these time anymore. So I'm happy that this one is still very healthy. Um, it will hopefully push out more new growth point um, over the time. And uh, yeah, very happy that these two plants are growing pretty happily. This one over here is Hoya polypus. This one is a three leaf cutting with one node when I got it. And yes, as you can spot out right here, it has pushed out a new vine that is healthily growing, as you can see over here. And the leaf, I remember, if you recall that video when I unboxed it, this leaf is very thin and soft. It's a bit floppy, I would say, at the time when I unbox it. But now it finally has firmed up. And I believe the reason why it took it a bit of time to show some growth is because the plant is trying to root in order to plump back up this leaf. Now that you can see the leaf is very solid, you can also see on the side is very thick, similar to the older leaf next to it. The original three leaf has successfully survived. And as I mentioned, there is a new growth vine over here. And if you actually look into more detail, there are many new leaves actually has branched out in the same node. You see that there is a new leaf over there and also two sets of leaf over here. There's also a new, I would say, two growth point on that um, node over there. And you can also see there's a new leaf in the middle. I would say this is such a prolific uh, grower when it comes to branching out on the same node. You can see that there's at least two growth point on that node and together with this leaf and together with this set of vine together with that leaf that already pushed out so hoya polypus is very um good in branching out and bushing out i would say and touch wood the 
speed of the growth and also how many new leaves actually grown in that node shows that potentially there are no flat mites in this plant. And you can see the splashes is so fine. Together with this coloration of the leaf, it just give it a very nice combination. And you can also see that kind of shine if you look into this close up. It's very beautiful. And I look extremely forward for this new vine to grow more. And hopefully no bugs will attack this one. Very nice and speedy growth for Hoya polypus. I'm very happy. This one over here is one of the hardest one to acclimate and keep it alive. This one here is Hoya curtisii, subspecies coloriata. As I have mentioned in my previous video, this one I have obtained from LB Garden before, but after it has acclimated and pushed out new growth, it died after three months. So I'm really upset about that. So at the time when I placed my third order with LB, I have purchased this one again from LB Garden. You can see that um, originally the plant is very small and I'm very, very happy that it actually pushed out some new growth over here. You see that in total, there are three new growth points. This one on the tip, um, well, I would say two new growth points because this one is the first set of leaf that pushed out from that node. And this is the second set of leaf. And you can see there's also this growth point over here. However, this plant is very, very, very hard to root. And look at this one. It looks like it's not having a good time in the root situation. And it is just not growing as last time. Last time it took much faster to push out new growth point and there are multiple new growth point in the same node. But uh, this tiny little cutting has two new growth point. And as you can see in the background, this one is another set of leaf that I try to root, but you can see that there are already some dead leaf that I did not remove. And hopefully these leaves looks quite plump. So I'm hoping that these leaves will end up pushing out some new growth on the existing node. So all in all, this one, I would say it is a very difficult Hoya for me to root, not just um, on the perspective of speed of growth, but just the first stage, making it adapt to the environment and uh, continue pushing out new growth. It is a challenge for me. Hoya Curtisii subspecies coloriata. This one over here is very similar to Hoya subspecies coloriata, Curtisii. This one here is Hoya peltata, one of the new published Hoya in 2022. This one, originally it has some new growth point. As you see, that is a new vine that pushed out and that is a new vine that pushed out. There's another one over there and this new growth seems to be okay, but the two new growth point over here has died back which is very depressing because this is such a tiny leaf hoya and it's super super cute when it comes to the leaf shape and also the texture i really hope this will get over it and then it will continue pushed out um, successfully growth new growth point as you see that one over there Hopefully this one will continue grow. However, I'm happy that I have another part which is growing quite a bit. It's not a fast grower um, as I have experienced. Maybe it's also because it's a uh, winter season now, but you can see quite a number of new growth point here. These two leaf over here are the new leaf that pushed out the first time when I see new growth point from Peltata. And then it further grow new ones over here. These ones are the latest new sets of leaf that grow. And you can also see some more new leaf is coming. There's also another new growth point over here. And these two tiny leaves are pushing out. And also the growth point over here. This one is quite impressive because this node 
actually has two new growth points. You see there's two sets of leaves there and then one more growth point that has bench out. So I am excited to see this specimen growing a little bit better. I don't know why. Uh, hopefully it's not because of pest, but uh, Peltata has this very, very small, tiny new leaf. And if you get it a little bit more highlight, it gets even smaller and a little bit kind of sun stress when it comes to the coloration. But uh, it is extremely, extremely cute. Even looking at the back, it looks so attractive. This one over here is a new species that is found in Sulawesi. It has hairy, tiny leaves, as you see in the close-up. I have chopped part of this Hoya for Emily for a trade. So this is a very small plant, as you can see here. But the good news is it has new growth point over there. And I would say this one is surprisingly easy to root and it's surprisingly quick in growing. And even though I have chopped probably around this much, um, I chopped it around a week and a half ago. New growth point has already start uh, pushing out. And I also have another part, this one over here. This one, I placed it in my Niels Bow cabinet with much higher light and less humidity. As you can see, the growth speed is quite different. The one to the left has so many more new growth point. And this one has one growth point, as I have showed you in the close-up. And you can see that the leaf shape is much smaller in the Niels Bow cabinet. This is the original leaf, and these are new leaf that has pushed out in my Niels Bow cabinet. You can see how hairy the surface of the leaves are, and especially when it comes to the new leaves. You see that here. And there's one new vine, two new vine, and third new vine over here so actually fifth new vine fourth new vine over there if you can see on the bottom so i'm very happy with the growth speed of this one it will look very interesting um, when it has a full pot of hoya sp Salawasi. i think i have seen a picture of the flower of this one from Hoya Passion. I can show that picture of the flower on the side, but look at this fuzzy new leaves. It's just so interesting. And it's not just the fuzziness, but also the leaf shape and the vines are quite special. Even though the leaf is just like the size of my nail, it has a lot of characteristic in the leaf hairy on the surface and at the back but it has a very obvious midrib and even the veins in the on the leaf are very obvious looking forward to grow these too quick this one over here is hoya sp pabwa it is unfortunately one of the hardest one for me to actually try to keep alive this was pretty large when I received it, but a lot of leaf just fell off and die. And the leaf is very um, special because you can see there are some short hair on the back of the leaf. And the front of the leaf is very smooth. The most interesting part is the very elongated corolla shape. It tried to push out... Um, new growth point uh, like this one here but this growth point has been like that for the past one month so I'm not sure if it is activated but at least I can see that there are actually roots growing into the Lechuza pond hopefully it is just a matter of patience for this one and fortunately I also took two parts of this so then I also have one part in the meals bow cabinet and I'll show you in just a minute and that one is growing okay it was 
also um, struggling in the beginning and it struggled for a month and after that it finally stabilized and I'm going to show you that one and I'm hopeful for this one. I was uh, very upset uh, seeing this vine keep dying back and I have to chop until this part. Hopefully this one will eventually activate. This one over here is the only leaf left in this cutting. And you see, this is the vine of that only one leaf, and this is the one. And I was really upset that I thought this one won't make it because it's only one leaf in this very long tendril and vine. But eventually, the tip has pushed out new growth and it is super interesting because you can see how hairy it is for the new leaf. And specifically for the stem, it's like sandpaper texture. So I'm happy that there are one set of new leaf growing and this gives me some hope. And interestingly, this naked vine over here, if you trace, it also has some new growth growing over here. See, it's the same very very hairy new leaf and it is also growing all the way up and get into that trellis so it is hopeful this plant will at least have this set of growing activated this one over here is hoya kaikoena this is a surprisingly fast growing and EC Hoya that I did not expect due to the very elongated leaf and potentially it's just because it's a new species. I thought it might be difficult and finicky to acclimate, but I was wrong. It grows really fast. I have chopped this plant up to many, many pieces and this is the one that I kept outside. Outside mean by I have this one in my normal room environment without additional uh, heating and uh, just having an aquarium light as additional light. And you can see there is also new leaf that pushed out even in an environment that is not specifically tailored for acclimation. I'm very surprised and I'm very happy about the growth speed of this one over here. This is one set of cutting that I've popped up as you can see and there's one new leaf over here and this one on this vine actually pushed out a quite large of a leaf. As you can see here, this is a new leaf that pushed out during this acclimation period. And the interesting part about Kaikoena is that it has very deep veining, particularly got some splashes as well. As I have mentioned, this one I put it outside and doesn't have additional strong light. This one, on the another hand, I kept it in my Millspo cabinet and look, look at this new leaf. This has pushed out around two weeks ago and this looks like an anthurium leaf. And look at this beautiful freckles on the leaf. It started off quite um, dark purple, I would say. It's very velvety when it started pushing out the new leaf and eventually it hardened off. It's still a bit soft right now, but because of the highlight condition, the coloration is much more lime compared to the one that I have outside. And you can also see, yes, there are two new growth points in that node. This entire vine is new, as you can see over here. And in the same node, there is another vine coming up. Very impressive growth. And I'm just totally out of expectation how beautiful the new leaf could be. And I did not know that could be this much splash and this much vein. And having this as a combination, purely magical, I would say. This one over here is Hoya Capuasensis. All of the original leaf has kept a life in the past two months. And you can see that there is 
quite a bit of growth and it is still the same kind of texture it is very very much like a sand paper on the top but at the back it's like a short hair cat very very short hair and you can see that there is a new growth point over here also over there this one is completely growing under the normal room environment i did not put it in um, any ziploc bag since i have acclimated it because it is very large and also i think it should be strong enough and surprisingly and very positive result even there's nothing in addition just aquarium light that i additionally provide it has pushed out two new growth points in these two cuttings which is absolutely unexpected and you can see that there are many many root growth into the lechuza pond and in comparison i also have one which is in my mealspo cabinet over here this one in my Mealspo cabinet, it receives high light and very, very warm environment. And you can see the leaf is very healthy and there is also a new growth point over here. The new growth point over here is quite hairy and it's uh, going to be very nice. You can see that one set of leaf and... On this side, you can see how the texture look like of the vine. And compared to the uh, one that grew outside, the one growing into Mealsbo cabinet is much more rooted. As you can see, the roots are insane. And there's even roots that grows into the water reservoir already. And I'm very impressed by how quick the root grow and yeah so maybe that is a tip that i could share with you comparatively growing it outside doesn't have as much root growth spotted but regardless both condition pushed out new growth point just that the one in the millsbow cabinet is slightly faster this one over here is hoya buntokensis it is such a beautiful coloration and the leaf is the same as the condition as I received it two months ago. However, I haven't seen any new growth yet. Um, maybe it is a slow grower or maybe it's because it's not warm enough. Let me know in the comment box down below how fast does your buntogenses grow? I am pretty sure that this is a healthy plant because there are so many roots that has grown into the pond already. Also, even some water roots that grows into the water reservoir. And you can see there are multiple new growth um, for the root. So I think it may just take some time for it to acclimate and grow. Um, but just to look into this texture of the leaf, it has this kind of splash that is very different from other splashes. At some direction, it could look like some chemical splash, but I'm pretty sure this comes naturally like this. And if you disagree with me, please also leave your comment down below. What are these splash? Are these splashes or these are because of chemical uh, treatment? It's interesting though. It's still a very nice uh, full pot size plant. Hopefully it will push out some new vine sooner or later. But as long as the roots are healthy, I am not too worried about the growth of this one. It's just a matter of patience, I believe. This one over here is Hoya saguanensis. It is a new species that has been published this year. And the reason why I wanted this Hoya is because of the flower. It looks very interesting um, with the coloration and also the texture. 
Um, I'm not very sure about this leaf here. Maybe it is some water damage um, during the time when it is in the Siblog bag. But uh, I only placed this one in the Siblog bag for a week. Then I have moved it out to my normal room environment. And after I've placed in the room environment, it has pushed out multiple growth point. This one over here and also this one at the back. So oh, there's also one more over there. So in total, these two node cutting has pushed out three growth point. So in that perspective, I think this plant is not difficult to acclimate because even though I placed this one in my normal room environment, it still continue growing. And I also have one that is in my Nilspo cabinet that I will show you in a second. That one has also pushed out growth really, really quickly. This one is another cutting that I placed in Millsvo cabinet. This one is a two leaf cutting that I have, I think there's one node, but it has pushed out this vine over here, all the way here. As you can see, it grows all the way up here. So it is a very fast grower if the condition is optimized. And there's on another vine over here that has pushed out. So in total, there is two new growth point in that one node cutting. And apparently it is very happy. As you can see, there is a small, tiny leaf growth over there already. This one over here is Hoya SP Kalba. It doesn't have a published name yet, but this one here has almost like translucent purplish pink flowers. That's why I purchased it. And this is part of the plant that I chopped up. And as you can see here, there is a completely new vine that has pushed out. And you can see there are two tiny leaves ready to be opened up, hopefully soon. And I also have another part that I have chopped up. This one has not uh, show any growth uh, yet. But it is definitely growing healthily in the root. Um, as you probably can see, there you go. Those ones are some, yeah, those ones are not existing roots, but those ones are roots that has grown because you can also see roots getting into the water reservoir as well. So this is a plant that is not so fast in pushing out new growth. And to be honest, I put this one in my room environment as well. So it is roughly between maybe 16 to 20 celsius degree currently in my room environment it is not extremely warm not a lot of sunlight so i understand why this one grow a bit slower but this one i put this one i placed it in a ziplock bag with extra high uh, humidity that's the reason why i believe a new vine has pushed out but regardless this is a hoya that roots quite quickly you can see this one is a cutting that I've chopped up and there's already root growing into the water reservoir. Impressive growth in roots. This one over here is Hoya SP Siloesi. It hasn't got a published name yet. Potentially it could be a new species that is identified by the Indonesian seller. But you can see that the leaf has kind of like hair when it uh, is still a baby leaf, if you can see that in a close-up. And all I could say about this Hoya is it is an incredible, incredible fast grower. These are the new leaf that has pushed out uh, after I have received it. This one is the entirely new vine that has pushed out. You also see the new baby leaf is very hairy. And then we also have another vine over here. These are also new leaf that has pushed out after I started acclimating it. And the new leaf is very hairy as well. And um, this is an existing long vine that is a bare vine in the beginning. But now you can see that new sets of leaf has pushed out. And also the grow tip over here is growing some new leaves and great news about this hoya is 
this is not the only one I got. I have chopped up the existing Hoya I got from LB and then I have placed another part in the Mealsbo cabinet. And for that one, the growth speed is also very, very surprising and promising. I'll show you just in a minute, but just take a minute appreciating this Hoya. The hair on the stem, and also the deep vein in the small leaves. It also have very beautiful flowers, so I'm very happy that this is such a great grower. This one over here is the specimen that I grow in my Mealsbow cabinet. It is also very prolific in the growth pattern, as you can see. There is a new leaf growing in that arc, and there is some new sets of leaf growing in this cutting. I have chopped this up for a friend of mine to trade some new Hoyas and now it is growing after three weeks of chop which is very fast growing I would say and in this plant there are in total two new leaf no two new sets of growth and I believe it will be more uh, oh actually Three new sets of growth, you see? That's a new vine that pushed out from that same cutting. So essentially there is two cuttings in this plant and there are in total one, two, three new growth points. And also I have the one outside, which makes it a very nice basket plant. This one over here is Hoya Verstegii. I did not expect this one to be such a fast grower you can't really see it clearly and I can't really take it out from my Millsbow cabinet because it's growing like a monster. This one has three leaf in total and you can see there is a vine sneaking into the cabinet all the way up matching together with this flagellata. And this is not the most exciting part. That, as you can see, is a new long vine, but this is also a new long vine that this one is an existing leaf that comes with, but look at this. The new leaf is having the characteristic of what makes Verstegii to be very special because of the ruffle pattern. Especially for new leaf, it comes out this bronze color and super hairy. And you can also see how ruffle it is on the side and if you look from the top the coloration is very dark bronze color and in the service like this you can see that the ruffle is obvious and if i lift it up a little bit you can see the back is super super hairy it's incredible and this is not the end because there is another new vine that I pushed out with a new leaf all the way up. Oh my goodness. To here. This is such a prolific grower when the growth environment is optimized. I'm also going to show you the one outside that I don't have any specific uh, growing condition for it. I just placed it in my environment. This one over here, I grow it in my room environment without additional uh, heating. Um, I do have a corium light with medium light strength, but as you can see, there are no new growth point um, in this plant yet. And you can also see the growth here. There are so many air roots that has grown into the stem when I placed it in the Siblog bag. I already took it out um, and put it in my room environment. That's why it has not continued growing for these air roots, but it kept alive. Um, but um, it is definitely a live plant, just that it's not growing as quick as the one I have shown you in the Millsbow cabinet, which is pretty insane i would say and with regard to the root there are many roots that has grown into the lechuza pond um you can see there it's just that there's no leaf there's no new leaf growing yet but i am 
very excited to see this grow on a trellis. It must be very interesting. This one over here is Hoya Unsin Mata. I wouldn't say is the most good looking plant out of this order, if not the least good looking plant. But these leaves are still surviving. Uh, it comes like this and it continued like this. And this is uh, one of the plant that I have. There's no specific growth point that I have spotted out in this uh, particular plant yet. I'm not sure why. Um, hopefully it's not because of any bugs. But um, I look forward to see the flowers of this one. Maybe it is still uh, too far of a wish to want it to see that at the moment. Because it still hasn't pushed out any new leaf yet. This one is a bit wrinkle. Hopefully it will make it. But I have another one over here that I have potted separately. This one is super thick compared to those ones. You see that on the side? It's almost like three millimeter thick for this particular leaf. These ones are a bit wrinkled, but it's still alive. And interestingly, there is new growth on this cutting. The smallest leaf um, out of all. It is super thick for this leaf as well. And you can see that there is a new growth point coming out. Hopefully this one will continue pushing out new leaf and hopefully the new leaf will look nicer. And you can see the crazy air root that has grown in the sip log bag. This is a bit insane. But uh, yeah, there you go. Hoya Insinata. This one over here is Hoya SS180. I believe this one is from Surisa Samadhi. And this is a very thin leaf Hoya. As you can see, it is paper thin, I would say. And it has very uh, shriveled up at the time when I received it. As you can see in the reference video, it has basically soften to a point that I'm so afraid that I will lose it, but it also um, plump back up very quickly. I believe it is because of the leaf is very, very thin. It actually takes up water very quickly and also it plumps up very quickly. Um, and you can see that if I pan it up a little bit more, it is a very, very prolific grower and I have chopped the plant into two parts and you can see there are two growth points and you can see that the leaf is slightly lime color it's a bit bleached I would say it is because it has grown so quick and now the grow light it's probably around here that's the reason why it has um, quite significant of light exposure but at the same time, it is growing really, really quickly. As you can see, this is another cutting that I have chopped up. So it basically is a one stem uh, plant when I received it, but then I chopped it into two parts. So then I can increase the probability to have a larger plant with different growth point. And you can see that this is an entirely new wine that actually is so hi and i also have a potential peduncle over here change the angle you can see over here i'm not sure how likely this one will grow but um it is um still growing peduncle over here and this vine is super long as you can see and uh yeah the ones uh, the newer ones is having some splash as well as you can see there and over here, you also got some splash. And um, yeah, it's just growing really prolifically. See there, super large plant. If I pan it down, if I pan it like this. And then you see that the entire plant is, it's like a plant, full-size plant, I would say, right now. And also, look at the root system, it's crazy. I just repotted it into a bigger, water reservoir. That's the reason why you see the root is shaped in a smaller shape, but I'm pretty sure the roots will expand significantly after giving it more space. And this is a plant that needs to be constantly moist based on the 
leave um, nature. It is very thin. It has to be constantly moist to make sure that it is plumped up. Otherwise, it will shrivel up just like how it looks like when I received it. But look, it is very, very healthy. And with this nice wine. Over here, it is Hoya Lauterbachii. I first got this one from LB the second time, but unfortunately, all of the leaf has dropped almost at the time when I unboxed it, so I did not manage to rethrive it. So this one is actually a replacement that LB has provided me in my third order. And look, I have chopped it into many different stem, and there are so many growth point. This one here, you see that these are the new sets of leaves that grow under the meal spill cabinet. And this is also new sets of leaves. These ones are new, as you can see, these ones are new. And this one. So there are so many new leaf that has grown just in this two, stem that I cho chopped up and as I have explained this is a plant that I have grown in my meals bow cabinet so it actually has more consistent light and more consistent temperature however it does not mean that it can only grow in um, the meals bow cabinet because this one over here this one completely grow under normal environment, which is in my room environment. It has a very um, weak aquarium light on the very end, so it's not directly on top of this plant. In other words, this plant doesn't have a direct grow light on top, but it has pushed out quite a bit of growth. This is, I believe this one is an existing sets. These are an existing sets of leaf, however, you can see that there are new growth point coming out. This is one stem and this another side. This is also another growth point. This is different because this one is a new leaf that grown under my room normal environment. And then this is some new leaf coming up and that is some new leaf coming up. You can also see the stem itself is very thick and strong. Um, yeah, so Lauterbachii actually has made a very, very big success this time. Both of the plant I have separated actually have survived. Not only surviving, but it is thriving. So I'm very happy that four of the cutting that I chopped, or four of the parts that I have separated, have all grown and also have new growth point. And last but not least, I can show you how significant the root growth is like. Both of them um, growing in my meal spill cabinet and outside in my room environment has already grown water roots. And there are so many juicy roots in the lechuza palm as well. So both of them are functioning very well using water reservoir. Last one over here is Hoya platycarvis. This one here was a pretty small plant when I received it from LB. And these ones are the original leaf that has come together in the order. And at the time, the growth tip was still growing, but then the two leaves um, on the latest um, node was dropped off. However, after three months, it has so many new growth points. You can see these ones are two newest sets of leaf. And the reason why it is curled a little bit, it's not because of the plant, it's not healthy. It's because I put it in Millsbo cabinet and yeah, I have limited space. And it's shaped the way it has its space around. And then you can also see these ones. Um, this is more, I would say this is more narrow and it has a better shape um, than the latest one because it has space at the time when these pushed out. And the most exciting part, apart from the new leaf growth is, yes, there is a peduncle that actually pushed out with the latest 
sets of leaf here. You can see that Hoya platycolis has this very signature flat stem. And I could uh, confirm the stem is very flat. It almost looks like uh, some sort of insect that pretend to be a plant, but actually is an insect. And you can see that it is flat. And just like what its name is, platycolis. And um, this is the existing flower bud that it has. It looks like that it is a rebuttable peduncle because it has multiple um, marks on the spur. And hopefully this new flower bud, this peduncle will grow and eventually I can see the flowers of platycolis. But um, it is very fast growing. It actually start growing um, right after I have put in the siblog bag and it was mm, not very rooted at the time when I received it but um, I think it acclimated very well and kind of um, rejuvenile um, or I would say it um, healed itself really quickly after I have put it in a siblog bag with um, some additional humidity so yeah this one here Hoya platycolis. Thank you very much to stay until now. I wish you enjoy the close up as much as I enjoy them. I really enjoy filming them close up because I think this is something that I wanted to see. If I'm ordering an import, I would really want to know after a couple of months how they actually look like. Did they manage to survive? Did they end up growing? Or did they actually did not manage to acclimate after one or two weeks time? So I hope this video is um, useful for you. If you wanted to order from either L or any kind of import that you would like to order that probably take within like a week or two to ship to your country and if you have any specific question with regard to any of the ways that I've showed you here please leave your comment down below and we can discuss further if you have any tips of growing these species please be generous enough to leave your comment down below as well so then we can learn from each other if you like this video and would like to support me making similar content in the future don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. If you don't want to miss out content similar to this one, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so next time when I post similar content, you won't miss that. Until next time, I wish everyone is having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!